Guys, welcome to Who's Junction. Today we're talking about the horrible defense that we're seeing in the uh, NBA playoffs. Uh, the defense is lacking intensity. It's lacking uh, a lot of communication on a lot of teams. That's why we've been seeing a lot of blowouts. But um, I think part of the reason for the issues with defense in the NBA, especially in the playoffs, it just it's just not being taught correctly anymore. Uh, back in the day, there was hand checking, but what a lot of people have to understand is, although there were there was hand checking, there was a lot of great fundamentals being taught back in the day that they're just not drilling it anymore. They're not teaching it anymore, and these are some of the things that a lot of the pros just for some reason, unfortunately, they're just not doing it. I don't get why they're not doing it. I can't tell you, but let me let's examine why. I think one of the first reasons why we're seeing such poor defense in the NBA playoffs is communication. Defense is all about communication. It's all about calling out screens. It's all about helping the helper. It's all about helping the man, calling out picks, screens, backdoor plays. It's all about gang rebounding, talking. You could always tell a great defense because the great defense always has everybody talking. Coaches talking. Players are talking. Uh, bench players are talking. They're like, pick up your man, pick up that assignment, pick up the side, watch the weak side. Great, even if you play a pickup game, one on one, two on two, three on three, talking, talking. You know what I'm saying? Even like when I'm playing basketball, if I'm guarding someone, I'm like, nope, nope, I got your left. I got, I'm cutting that off. Nope, I got this. You know, so you, you're talking yourself, and you're talking. It's, so it's like, it's like sort of you're talking your way through it, so to speak. So you know how like a little kid's trying to learn something. They're like, okay, two plus two, so they get two things, two things, and they bring them together. They see it's four. So that's how the defense works. Communication. So that's number one. Communication. Number two. One of the issues I see really huge in the uh, NBA and all over the place. People play defense with their hands more than their feet. It's the other way around, ladies and gentlemen. You have to play defense with your feet. You have to move your feet. The the object of playing defense in any for any uh, level of basketball is to stay between you. Between, keep your man between you and the basket. You need to keep your man away from the basket. The further away you keep him from the basket, the better. So you need to always stay in front of him. How do you stay in front of him, you ask? Hubie Brown style. You move your feet. A lot of players, a lot, there's <laughs> so many to count, but like James Harden always comes to mind. He plays defense with his hands. He just tries to swipe. Every player tries to swipe. They try to get a hard swipe. If you would move your feet and stay in front of the defender, just your mere presence being there, it disrupts the shot. It makes it difficult for the person to shoot. You have to move your feet. Always, always, always move your feet. Stay in front of your man and move your feet. And in the NBA playoffs, we've just been witnessing a lot of guys not moving their feet. They're falling asleep on defense. They're just trying to reach, trying to reach. And that's how you get beat. You ever heard the saying, you reach, I teach? Well, that's the thing. A lot of people are getting taught nowadays <laughs> instead of it's, instead of being the teacher because they're reaching. When you reach, you're putting yourself at an unfair advantage because a, a player could do this little up and under crap, or he could just beat you off the dribble because you're one step behind. You're you're lunging forward while the player is driving past you. So right then and there, you put yourself at a disadvantage. So those are the things that I'm seeing. I mean, it's it's just unfortunately it's not being drilled enough. The communication is not there for a lot of teams. If, if you would just call out a screen, you help. You see what I'm saying? If you would just pick up your man and somebody helps the helper, you, that's great. Little things like that. If you would just say, hey, get back on defense because they have a guy down low, that's great. But a lot of teams don't do that. A lot of young players don't do that. They don't talk on defense. A lot of players are, are using their hands. They're reaching. Keep reaching, you keep getting taught. That's why it's so hard to guard like players like Stephen Curry, Kyrie Irving, Chris Paul. These guys are reaching instead of just playing positional defense. And that's the number one thing about defense, ladies and gentlemen. You have to be in position. And that's what I mean about the defense fund the f defensive fundamentals being way better back in the day because what they taught was correct hand in a passing lane, keeping uh staying in front of your man. Not reaching. I know they had the advantage of hand checking, but before anything on hand checking, if you didn't move your feet, coach would put you on the bench. And I know this for a fact because a lot of times um, when I was in high school, I used to play uh, the center position. But sometimes they would put me out to, to guard 
point guards and stuff like that when we did the uh, one two two the zone for or they call it one in the box whatever the case is we would do that and you know the minute I reached my coach said Pew! he they said call timeout Vladimir go sit on the bench I told you just just guard him don't reach and that's the thing when you reach the guy blows by you and the, the offense has all the advantage play defense with your feet and play positional defense stay in front of your man and keep your man away from the basket that's the best way to play defense. And another thing is, a lot of players don't even contest shots. And even in, when I'm when I'm watching kids play on um, in the park, nobody's contesting anything. They're just watching them shoot. Or they'll be like, I'm not worried about him. He, he can shoot it. Contesting a shot drops the percentage of it going in dramatically. It's like over 30%. Even if they make the shot, if, if they have to make 10 the same way, they're not going to make it because it's harder to make a shot with a hand in your face. And that's what... It's just, it's not clicking for a lot of teams. And that's why a lot of teams are getting blown out. And that's why, you know, a lot of kids just don't like to play defense. They like to play offense, but they don't like to do the little things. Just put in a simple hand up. Closing out. When you close out, don't jump all the way. Close out, remain on your feet so you don't run into the person. Just close out, hand up, and then the, you know, the left hand or the right hand on the opposite end so you can make sure they don't drive by your pump fake. Staying down on the pump fakes. Another thing on defense. These are all things that growing up I was taught. You know, stay down on defense. Um, close out correctly. Always contest shots. Even if you're far away, contest. Little things like that. That's what I was taught. And it's just like, for some reason, it's just not being drilled anymore. And it's horrible to watch grown men play defense like this. It's just, it's just horrendous. It's just awful. Some teams are playing great defense, but most aren't. And I hope maybe you could pick up a few nuggets for yourself while you're watching the NBA playoffs. And if you're a coach, you know, just remember some of these things that were taught to you and pass them down. This is Vlad from Hoops Junction, where Hoops meets Hoopla. Peace.